Hey everybody, welcome back. And one of my favourite places to get a pulse of a market, to really understand what's going on and to you know, really get into the whole, the whole vibe, as they would say in the castle, the whole vibe of a market is definitely forums. And uh, it, to me, it's both the best resource and I suspect the place where people make the biggest mistakes. So I want to talk to you about all of that today in this lesson. First is, of course, how you find them. And funnily enough, all you have to do is take your phrase and your core market and type in forum. Now, if you've drilled down into a really micro, micro niche, kite surfing boards in our case, I wouldn't use that. I just use kite surfing, which is the which is the bigger uh, area. And if you can have uh, just an interesting little note here too, I actually used my little Google search tool here because because I'm filming this in Australia, all the Australian forums came up. Um, so I used the USA Global uh, link here to get these forums. So. Let's have a look. Let's get into these forums. Now, the thing about forums is that the most keen people in a market, and I've, and I've put in here the most cranky people in the market, uh, or also exist in the forums. And you just have to take a love all, serve all approach. So the first thing that you do when you're having a look at any particular uh, forum is to have a look at you know the various FAQs. So you can see here we've got an FAQ file. And by the way, did I mention read the FAQ? You know, so you can go in and have a look at the kiteboarding FAQ and have a look at the forum. You know, these are all uh, the rules. You know, and look at all these. All See, this is why I love this. Look, this this is manna from heaven for me. In fact, I'm going to jump on my Evernote and just put basic beginner's guide to kite surfing right there. Fantastic. You notice my spelling hasn't improved since our last lesson. But brilliant. So that's a classic one. I'm actually going to pop over to an Australian one that I uh, came came across because it was it was the FAQs about forums uh, were really really well uh, put out. I thought. So for example, you know this is you know you've probably all seen forums. Hopefully you've been to the challenge uh, forum, and you can see that they are divided up. I always check out the general discussion first as a general rule. And like any forum, there's a bunch of stickies. But here's, this is really, really crucial here. Look at look at these. I love this. Posting guidelines. Please read these. You know, go through, you know, you want to have a look at, you know, there's obviously no advertising, keep it fun, no swearing. I'd hope you wouldn't do that. Um, and they talk about all the rules that are there. And you need to particularly pay attention uh, to advertising because who knows maybe down the track you may want to advertise in this forum um, but also you know it's just saying don't promote stuff and you shouldn't promote stuff in a forum the biggest single mistake people make when it comes to forums is they barnstorm into a forum make a couple of posts and then decide basically they do a post which is you know translated it basically says hi there I don't care about any of you but I want you to buy my stuff go buy my stuff go check out my blog isn't this blog great or some variation of a theme and that is so dunderhead I mean it's just stupid and yet I see it happen time and time again we see it in our own challenge forums you know it just happens that way now you can see here that I'm actually logged into this forum and uh, I'll look just to, to show you for completeness I'm going to log out and then if we go into the forums here you can see you should always register for your forum put in your name username put a password they may have some sort of email verification you should definitely always register um, because when you register if we uh, and I'm just going to log uh, back in here right when you register you can actually 
go in and you can edit your profile, which you definitely should. You should set your avatar and you should definitely have some sort of picture. You know, I always use myself, particularly when I'm starting out. Fill in as much details as you can. Now, it's important when you feel, you know, when you're doing these things is to obviously, you know, um, be truthful for goodness sake, you know, if you're just getting into a market, then you're just researching. And so I would write, oh, I'm just checking out kite surfing for the first time. It looks great, which is the absolute truth. I don't think it looks fantastic. It looks the coolest thing ever. So, you know, fill out your form. And sometimes the forums will allow you to put a web address. So there's another opportunity to put a link back to your site, which is marvelous. So let's have a look. I always like to have a look at the topic numbers and the post numbers, because that tells you which of the forums are the busiest, which is fascinating in of itself, great research. And if we click here on general, you know, we can have a look. Again, we've already had a look at the posting guidelines. But you know, all look at all of this, all of this stuff is like, you know, what is this? I have no idea. Uh, but here's the cool thing. If we go, ah, oh, that's because I'm on windsurfing. See, I know nothing about windsurfing. I'm all about kite, kite surfing. So let's go to the the kite surfing. Do you notice they've got a newbie section? Wouldn't it be smart to go and have a look at that and read the welcome? Look at this, kite server beginner questions. How to start kiteboarding? Should I use a board leash? You know, how to jumps, kite surfing. Look at this. You know, this is magnificent stuff that is posted to help. It's marvelous. And, you know, this is all information. This is, see why I love forums? They're so brilliant to get you know, quickly get advice and interesting information. Uh, you know, they're, you know, just all stuff like winter here in Australia, you know, and careful. Um, yeah, it's funny they should say that because I did notice that um, <laughs> that uh, some people were getting blown way off course in Port Douglas in the winter uh, when they were doing their kite surfing. So that was something I noticed too. However, do you see how you just... The whole thing here is about, you know, putting your toe in the water. Just read. I mean, it's very enjoyable. And what I want you to do initially, here's the cool trick too. Um, you'll notice in this forum, sadly, there's no RSS uh, feed by the looks of it, which is a shame uh, because I do like RSS feeds. But, you know, you can have a look in here. And when you get... You know, find an interesting area, just hit hit your Evernote, grab the link, make a note about what you you thought was interesting about it. Also, I'm noticing who's advertising um, and having a look at, you know, what sort of DVD. So it's, I'm just filing all this away, thinking about products, thinking about opportunities. But you can go in. Now, here's the thing. Next module, we'll talk about flicking the switch from passive to active. At the moment, you know, if you were looking for an interesting thing to post on your posters network, well, it would be obvious to me um, that there are so many good articles here that I would like to talk about on my posters blog and send a link back, you know. Um, I think it's it just makes so much sense. Right, look, there's an Australian Kite Surfing Association, so I want to check that out. You know, and again, you can go through all these sorts of sorts of things. Have a look at what sort of I see. I love forums for seeing what things are hot at the moment. You know, these are all the 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 sticky. Uh, you know, and have a look at what's hot, and you can see. I like looking at the times as well. You can see, you know, 20 minutes, 28 minutes, 30 minutes, 58 minutes. You know, this is an active forum. It's the middle of the day here in Australia, so there's a few kites talking about, look at this, it's a very active forum, which again does point to a, you know, a very, very active market. So, which is all very good, and you can just get a whole bunch of things, like this death leash thing, this, I think, which is... Oh, <laughs> so um, you know you can have a look at that. Ah, now I just noticed this thread is stupid. You know, it my, one of my favourite forums on the internet is the Leica Camera Forum, and I've never seen so many crumpy, cranky old people. In that, no offence 
old people, but it's true. These are cranky. They refer to themselves as cranky old like men. Typically, they're men. Um, you know, you don't want to get wrapped up in any of the the forum here and there's but you really do you know you want to behave you know it's, it's almost biblical you know treat people like you'd want them to, to treat you you know make sure you're adhering to the the rules you know don't get sucked into forums either you're doing this because you're researching and you're in there as a, as a business i know people who spend their whole lives in forums and they never ever ever get out of them you know, you've got to be, you know, it's got to be useful. You know, see, this to me is fascinating because this here is almost like an informal, you know, guide on which gear is most popular. Um, you know, I don't know what JP Australia 2001, super lightweight wind. Oh, it's a windsurfing um, thing. So, you know, that's what people are looking at. Okay. I've slipped out of the kite surfing forum again. I'm out of my comfort zone. You get the idea. Forums are a wonderful, 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 wonderful place. Oh, look at that. RSS feeds. I didn't see that. See, look at this. So I can go to the kite surfing general, hit feed here, and look at this. Subscribe to this feed using Google Reader. Subscribe now. There we are. Jeez, I've got 485. I haven't done a reader sweep today. Check this out. I hit subscribe. And I'm done. And I go and put that in my kiteboarding file. Done. In my kiteboarding news. There it is. And so I can have... Then I've all the cool stuff that I can do uh, that I showed you yesterday, for example, with my tools. I'll be on my iPhone or my iPad. And I'll be able to make posts, save different relevant things to Instapaper, uh, send it off to Postress. I'll be able to do whatever I need to do. It's awesome. It's a brilliant way of slowly working your way into a market, understanding and reading. Right. So action points today are to go to Google, type in, look at some forums, register, fill in your profiles, um, and check, have a look around to see if there are RSS feeds for the forums. A lot of forums have them now. Um, and you know, add them into your Google Reader because um, that'll just save you a lot of time rather than having to surf around to each feed. Um, and it works really well. You know, you can literally, you can click on that and if you want to actually go to the actual forum, it'll take you straight back to that post. Again, it's just a superb way uh, to scan through things. Look at that. There's a kite border magazine, for goodness sake. Again, another interesting indicator. Again, I knew nothing about this before I started this week. And all of a sudden... You know, there's all of these different elements which are starting to starting to come together. It's fascinating stuff. It really, really is. Okay, with that, we're almost at the end. Tomorrow I've got to have a chat to you about some important stuff. And we'll be through the passive section, the absorbing and fueling up section of market leadership before we go active. So I will speak to you tomorrow. Have fun, folks. Bye-bye.